now. All right, hey, welcome to the first episode of No Title Required. I have a... What's up, fam? How's it going? What's up, fam? I was waiting for you to come in there. I wasn't sure when you were going. It's all right. What do we want to talk about to start off with? I don't know. Uh, Keep in mind, I can cut out just about anything, so if we find something after debating it for five minutes, I can cut that five minutes out. What's the worst movie you've ever seen? Okay, so I actually just noted I I just watched a movie just about this the other day. Um, it was for some odd reason I remember seeing it being a big deal on online. It was everywhere, but it was a low budget film. It was uh, what was it called? Um, Raptor Priest. Raptor Priest. I think. Raptor Priest. All right, Raptor Priest. I think is what it was called. Uh, the worst film I've ever seen. Uh, keep in mind, I don't watch a whole lot of bad movies, but I've been trying to watch some more of the more infamous ones. Uh, is probably Troll 2. Have you ever seen Troll 2? No. Mm. It's this infamously bad, super cheesy, terrible 80s movie. It's a horror movie. Uh, basically, this country or this family signs up for a exchange program with a family that lives out in the country, in this little town okay. called Nilbog, and they end up they sh- exchange families with this farm family or houses with this farm family. Excuse me. And damn it, now I feel stupid because I can't I can't recall the rest of the. The plot. They basically they move in, and this kid is seeing the ghost of his grandpa talk to him, and this ghost mm-hmm. is like telling him like, "Hey, watch out! This place is fucking sketchy, yo." Uh, and the kid's like, "No." Uh, he eventually uh, pisses on the dinner table and gets yelled at by his dad in a very infamous, infamous internet scene. Um, has not aged well because at the very end he says, "What are you gonna do to me, Daddy?" Um, <laughs> I shit you not. Okay, so I got the name completely wrong. It's not a uh, raptor priest. It's called the Velocipaster. The Velocipaster. Okay. This. It's okay. I'm reading it off of uh, IMDb. Mm-hmm. And their exact quotes of what it, the like what it's about is called. After losing his parents, a priest travels to China where he inherits a mysterious ability that turns him allows him to turn into a dinosaur. At first, horrified by this new power, a hooker convinces him to use it to fight crime and ninjas. Whoa, 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 whoa. So he's a he's a p- priest, correct? He's a pri- he's a he's a priest. He's a priest. It gets the power and he's, to change. He's literally him. just like strolling along in China. He's in China because he was. I want to say he's had he had like an epiphany or something, and his faith was shaken. So he was going to China to like find his religion or whatever. And he meets up with this lady who got killed by these ninjas, and this lady is holding this like thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like a rock or a tooth or something. And she hands it to him right before she dies. Okay. And he ends up cutting his hand on this said thing. And that's what gives him the power to turn into the the rap the velocirap the velocipaster. Yeah. So he like And this whole movie is like if you and I made this movie, this is what we we probably would do. It is so bad. <laughs> but it, it's like it's so bad that it's so funny. Oh my gosh. That like, sounds... I don't know if they meant for it to be this bad, but it's bad that it's great. So, this priest is in China, and he comes across this lady who basically gives him the Green Lantern origin story, except for his power is that he can turn into a velociraptor. Yes. I mean, and hey. When you see hey. this, like, 
if you see this priest, you definitely would not think, oh my god, that's clearly obviously a priest. Because this guy is jacked. It is a jacked up priest. Okay, okay. Does the work of the Lord. And he hits the gym regularly. And he definitely hits the gym regularly. Definitely hits the gym regularly. The funny regularly. part is that this, he ends up like completely not become like going away from his religion anyway after he meets this hooker that he ends up falling in love with. Okay. Which is I also I, I thought it was really really funny because it's it's a hooker. Dude, imagine going on an adventure to China. And then gaining the power to turn into a dinosaur, and then also on that adventure falling in love with a hooker. I would Too very, funny. I would very very strongly consider going to that mental hospital if that happened. <laughs> or and by the by the end of the movie, uh, the, the this hooker and the priest have to fight the the entire like ninja clan thing. The ni- okay. This ninja clan is, um, is basically a drug ring. Their main income is cocaine, and the priest's brother is the uh, second in command of this drug ring. I bet their parents are and just the main, lovely. And the drug proud lord is some old old China Chinese dude. Cocaine ninjas. There we go. There's a good takeaway from this conversation. Just cocaine ninjas. Exactly. Cocaine ninjas. Cocaine ninjas. That sounds like something a 14-year-old who wears big skater shoes and drinks lots of monsters would draw in his notebook. You find any Kyle, they have it in their notebook. (laughs) Cocaine ninjas. Any Kyle. Uh, Any of you fuckers out there named Kyle... Uh, we know about your cocaine ninjas that you drew in your notebook. It's time to stop, Kyle. We all know. People out there named Kyle are going to get legitimately mad at us now for having said that they... <laughs> we, we exposed them. We know we knew, we said that we knew about their cocaine ninjas. They have been exposed. I can't make that reference. You wouldn't understand it. I was going to make a YouTube reference, but never mind. You need to get more with the the times on those references. I do? No. I'm just kidding. Sorry. I w- hey, yes. I'm doing what I can with what I have. You are, and I'm proud of you. Uh, hmm. You see any good movies uh, before this whole uh, coronavirus thing stormed through? Um before like like recently in Last like the theaters I saw in the theater was I, uh good boys the good boys the good I boys that was the last movie i saw in the theater okay uh the last movie i saw in theaters before the quarantine was onward from pixar and I really liked it. I thought it was a really cool movie. Um, I like the the fantasy, the fantasy setting. Um, they blended it with mo- like modern day aesthetic. So like yeah, they did that with um, like uh, Zootopia kind of thing. Kinda yeah, it's sort of like Zootopia where it's they took what modern society is like today and changed one thing about it, and they basically they changed it so that. It's a fantasy world rather than just our average every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it's a really sweet movie. These two, like, elf dudes uh, played by two Avengers, uh, Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. Uh, they don't... They never met their dad. Uh, the oldest one has, like, two memories of him. And they get a spell for the, for the oldest... The youngest one's 16th birthday... Once they're both 16, they get a, a wizard staff with enough power in it to bring their dad back for one day. Uh, and in the process of doing it for the first time, uh, Tom Holland elf fucks up. And now there's only a waist and legs of their dad. 
So they have 24 hours, or yeah, 24 hours to get the top half of their dad and see. Where is it? Where is it? They have to. Yeah. Sorry, they have to get another, like, it's called a phoenix gem. It's like a battery for their wizard staff to complete the spell and bring the other half of him to life. Okay, so it's like the staff was working and it ran out of juice to finish it, so they had to find something to put in the staff to finish it. Uh, He broke the gem. Something happened and he messed up. And the gem was like, oh, peace, peace out, I'm done. Kapow, and blew up. So they have to find another one. Uh, the, The final monster that you see in the movie is really, really creative. I won't spoil what it is. Uh, for those of you out there who haven't seen it yet, uh, it's available on digital by now. Uh, and I think because of the the quarantine, they were going to add it to Disney Plus in the first days of April. Uh, but the final the the final boss of the the Dungeons and Dragons campaign, so to speak, uh, is very cool. Uh, we appreciated the scene a lot when we went to go see it. It's just it's a good time. Uh, I would say 8.7 out of 10. Good time. I thought it was really, really good. I need to stop leaning away from my microphone so much. Yeah, I noticed that I did that too. It's alright. It's our first time. We're getting used to being in front of the microphones. So... You guys still talking about getting that dog? Yeah, I think so. It hasn't been brought up since work yet, but that's just because we were at Grandma Grandpa's house and we just never talked about it. But I'm sure we will between now and later. Now and later. Whenever later happens. Uh, young man, having a pet is a, a big responsibility. You gotta, you gotta care for well, it and dog. love it and feed it. My- that's kind of what comes with everything like at this point of age I kind of need to learn how to care for something since I'm literally at that age where I can have a baby uh, here's the thing about babies you don't need to, to do anything to babies you can just leave babies they're fine they will be fine you can leave your baby unattended for several hours and they'll be fine I promise don't actually do that. It, it, no, that's it's false. I'm lying to you. You hear that, kids? Everything he's telling you is a complete truth. You need to do it with 100% accuracy, and then you will go out and you will learn the correct way. Yes. What's what's some current goings on besides uh, the the COVID nineteen outbreak? I don't really want to talk about that. It's not to say that it's not important. Uh, not to say that COVID nineteen is not important. I'm just I. But that's a beating around the bush topic. It's honestly, I'm I'm just tired of hearing news about it and hearing people talk about it. So I'd like to just stay away from it. You know, I don't want to bring people down. I want to ruin people's good time listening to us make stupid jokes and talk about movies. Let's have a look. See, uh, Kenny Rogers died recently. Did you ever? You yeah. A Ken, you a Kenny Rogers listener? The only one I've only ever heard of was his um. The Texas Hold'em one. Uh, his poker. Yeah. His poker one. That one. And I don't even know a whole lot about it, but I've heard it a couple of times. Hmm. My parents are big fans. I n- I oh, never yeah, listened to. Not happy with it. A whole lot. Uh, what was I going to say? I thought of something and then just it left my mind. Did it happen to you a lot? What? When you, you think of something and you're about to say it and then it just... Whew, it's gone. It blows away. It blows away like a, like a tender kiss from a woman on a windy night in Italy five years ago. Francine, please come back to me. I love you, and I miss you. I just want to see my kids. 
You hear that, Francine? He misses you. Fuck that bitch, though. No, Seriously. Care. Doing an online search, and all that's coming up is... COVID. People sick with coronavirus, coronavirus. People die of coronavirus. I don't care. Well, I mean, I do care. It's bad, but, like, it's not what I want to read about. Did you hear that, folks? Uh, Tyler just said that he does not care about coronavirus or people that have died from coronavirus. Do not listen to this man, okay? You, I, he said I'm earlier that everything that I... He told you earlier... People that are in it. He told you earlier that everything I said was the truth. And we have to stick to that meta now. You know, I bet when you grow up, Dalton, I bet you're going to grow up and get a fishtail. I'm going to get a fishtail? Yeah, you're going to get a fishtail. You keep going on like this. I'm going to give you a fishtail. Oof. And when I say I'm going to give you a fishtail, I don't mean I'm going to be like, I'm just going to walk up to you with a cut-off tail of a fish that I found. No, I'm going to find the biggest freaking fish I can find. And I will cut the tail off, and then I will find you, and I will sew the tail to your ass. Yes, that's violent, sir. Bro, listen. Good plan and all, but I don't think you'll ever find me. I'm moving to Mexico. Well, I have my ways. Here we go, pop culture. What's happening in pop culture these days? The Oscars just happened uh, a while ago now. Damn, the past couple of months have gone by really fast, haven't they? That's just what happens when we get old. I mean, we're not old. We're 20, but uh, but I, I do understand where you're coming from on that. Well, here's one that we both can relate to. Rosario Dawson to play Ahsoka Tano in Disney Plus' The Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, The Mandalorian. That's something. That's always a good thing. Uh... Well, what do you think Ahsoka's doing in The Mandalorian? I honestly have no clue. I don't know what's going to be going on. I don't know if they're going to, like, sort of chain it from what the new season of The Clone Wars is going on. If they're going to go from, like, that, or they're going to do, like, a Terminator thing where they, it's, like, a whole different timeline thing going on. Oh uh, man, I don't know. I've I haven't been keeping up on the new season of the Clone Wars. I don't have Disney Plus anymore. Not that I don't think it's worth paying for, uh, but I just currently don't have the extra funds to spend on it when I already have several other streaming services that I'm paying for. You know, I'm paying for Spotify, I'm paying for Hulu, I'm paying for some Netflix. Yeah. And like that's the only thing that I would really want to watch on Disney Plus right now is Star Wars. So, I can wait, you know. It's on there forever, hopefully. Yeah. She also was in uh, Zombieland 2, so that was also that was also a good film that she was a part of. Never saw Zombieland 2 yet. Oh, it is a good time. It is a good time. I don't remember a whole lot about the first one, in fact. Uh, I know that uh, Michael Sarah is in it, and I know that Woody Harrelson... He, uh, Tallahassee. Michael not in it. Jesse Eisenberg, excuse me, not Michael Sarah. Yeah. It's Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg and, uh, is the girl the same one from the... Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Woody is it... Harrelson. Is that Emma Stone? Uh, yeah, Emma Stone is in it. Let's say Woody Harrelson, and... uh, Tallahassee, he loves them Twinkies. He plays the younger sister. Uh, Abigail Breslin is the the younger one. Okay. And then you, you even get a little bit of a cameo of uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray isn't Bill Murray He's also a zombie? Lord and Savior himself, Bill Murray. Lord and Savior himself, Bill Murray. Here we go. Here's an idea for us. Let's start a cult based around Bill Murray. I would. Eat, I could. I could. I'd be down with that. You'd be down with starting a cult based around Bill Murray, like. Now, if we if the, is this cult gonna be like Bill Murray himself, or is it gonna be like Bill Murray in other movies? Well, that's what I was just but gonna bring up. I think we should just like start a, a, a cult centralized around just gen the personality of Bill Murray. 
Uh, See if you actually would like sort of how like Christians worship Jesus, but love the Bible, which is like the stories of Jesus. We will love Bill Murray, but also love we will not. I don't want to say worship Bill Murray because that might get us in trouble. Uh, But we'll worship Bill Murray, but we will also love his films as if they were the stories of his his teachings. I would push so hard in Garfield. You have no idea. Garfield? Yeah. Now, I'm nostalgic for the Garfield movies, but I don't particularly think they're great. And that, that... You know, no one really does. <laughs> like, I'm nostalgic for them because I, I watched them a lot on DVD as a kid because they were one of those DVDs we picked up. Uh... Not super cheap, but in like the, I think the value bin at Walmart for like $10 or something back in the day. Yeah. And it was uh, Garfield 1 and 2, uh, the second one where he has like the clone of himself, right? And they like, they, they do like well, the, the weird... Well, it's not a clone, it's just a cat of the same breed, but in a completely different country, because this cat is the... Fa- the royal family's cat and he also talks yeah he's got like an english accent or something like that now that's crazy y- imagine this movie is real for a minute it gets switched up and then all of a sudden the real garfield is in england living as a basically a king and the other one's being a normal house cat. Okay. I said imagine this movie is real for a minute as if the movie is not real. Imagine we live in the universe of this movie. There are two identical orange cats that have also somehow wondrously developed the ability to talk. Do you or do you not cry aliens? Yeah, but no one understands them other than other animals. That's true. I didn't think about that. It's been a while since I've seen either of those movies. Yeah, but that's like how all basic animal talking movies go, is the only people that can understand them are like other animals. It's like Stewie and Brian and Family Guy, because no one can understand Stewie what he says other than Brian. Ah, it's like a very special occasion. I was waiting for when we brought up Family Guy. So I have a personal love-hate relationship with Family Guy because I'm very nostalgic for Family Guy. It's gotten me through my my teenage years. I love Family Guy, but I can recognize that the new seasons are very, very bad. Uh, this, this The newest... new seasons are incredibly, like, modernized and towards, like, really, really... It's all cutaway gags, isn't it? Yeah, like, and they're all, like, on topics that we don't really care about it's like it's like it's like politics and stuff like that it's like it's like you know i didn't didn't, exactly i didn't come here to see the funny fat man with balls for his chin talk about politics you know like i I came to see him crash a helicopter onto his neighbor's lawn again i've came to i came to see him fight a flipping chicken uh you you can say fuck by the way uh just for reference you can say uh, whatever you'd like, as long as there's no uh, N words and probably C words. No C words or N words. Uh, and and just remember, uh, no. What's what's the word I'm looking for? No bigotry, if that makes any sense. No 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 bashing specific groups of people as an actual topic. You can do it as a joke. If as long as you make it clear that it's a joke, I'm all for it. I don't know how the listeners will be, uh, but they can fuck off. This is our podcast. Like basically, don't get political with it. You can get political as long as you don't. As long as you you're clear about it and you're not rude. Actually rude. Okay, I get that. I follow. Like. Basically, what I'm saying is like that. is like no racism, no uh, bashing religions just to bash them, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but man, them Catholics—they're in a lot of trouble right now. Speaking of religion, 
They they Home in some de- down. they in some deep water. And what makes you say that? They in some some kiddler diddler conspiracy theories coming true here. I'll probably have With to what? cut this part of the podcast out, honestly, because I don't think we should be talking about this on YouTube and Spotify. How them online classes coming? Bro, they're so, like, overcompensating for us not being in school that it's so ridiculous. They're giving you lots and lots of I've homework? I've never had so much work to do in my life. Hmm. Like, just before you, we were on on this podcast, I had just finished three assignments in classes that I don't really think I really needed to do. Okay. I suppose, have you uh, any word on whether there is homework in band yet? Uh, so far, the only thing in band we had to do was uh, just give a... Uh, like it was like, uh, how do you plan to return the music in your instruments, kind of thing. Oh, yeah, that makes. But sense. I just did one for jazz band, where all it was was me listening to a, a piece and pointing out where solos would happen and how I f- things I find interesting in the piece. Okay, and that was for two pieces and i thought that's a little overboard for what we really need to be doing oh and i feel like since we're talking about it we should explain to the audience uh what we do in college uh i am part of the broadcasting department at our college currently uh i eventually would like to go into animation i'm going to get a broadcasting degree and then go on to an actual art school for animation and tyler what are you doing in college currently Right now, I'm currently going to school to get my bachelor's in music education and theater. I plan to hopefully teach students to be in band and choir and teach them about music history and stuff like that. Yeah. And then also hopefully writing my own and directing my own plays. Uh, future job, uh, future um, employers of Tyler... Uh, please note everything he says on this podcast is the truth. Uh, any bad or possibly insensitive things that he say are all 100% accurate and his beliefs. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, please do not. If you find this, please know that uh, most of the things we say are jokes. Please. Please, I want a job. I'm gonna feel so bad one day if we like record four episodes of this quit and then eventually like where we get a job somewheres and they find this podcast that we did when we were 20 years old and they're like excuse me did you really have (laughs) what they're like whoa 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 cocaine ninjas (laughs) what are you talking about are you sure you're okay? Are you mentally stable enough to be teaching kids? Cocaine ninjas. A church. The, the cult. Turns into a velociraptor. The cult of Bill Murray. I almost said Bill Cosby. And that'd be a very bad cult to be a part of right now. Oh, yeah. You, you would be on a very big downhill slope. Um... Not to bring up that, because that's pretty old news at this point. Yeah, everybody knows about the Bill Cosby scandals. Mm. But I'm not going to lie, in the, the Cosby show, he was pretty good. Those late That late night show, if you happen to be awake and you'd catch it on, you'd have a mildly good time when you're watching it. That was George Lopez for me, brother. Ah, oh, George Lopez. Okay, Ooh. if I'm up and I see George Lopez on, then I know I am... I do not need to be awake anymore. I should be asleep. <laughs> you know, you see the memes about it everywhere, but George Lopez, you wake up at like three in the morning in a cold sweat. You can't find your water, your glass of water or whatever that you thought you had next to you. And you look up and there it is. Uh, and then you fall asleep a couple of minutes later. That that's what happens. Seinfeld and Friends. Seinfeld and Friends. 
those three were if I could see those on the TV, I need to be asleep. Um, I, what do you feel about friends? How do you? Just chilling. Are you there? Yeah, sorry, I thought you were gone. Yeah. You uh, were gone on my end. Was I? My internet must yeah. be cutting out. I have shitty internet at my house. Uh, how do you feel about friends? You know, I, I never really got into it, so I just... I've heard so much about it. I know what people love it ever, like almost everywhere, but I I just I couldn't get into it. The same actually. I feel like I I tried to have a friends phase if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like I I watched it a lot, but I don't I didn't retain a lot of it and I don't think I really liked it. I think I was just watching it to watch it. You ever have a show or like a a movie series that you just kind of put on because it's background noise and you don't want it to be quiet? Yeah. That was kind of friends for me. It was like, there, oh. There's certain, there certain movies or TV shows that I put on when I'm sleeping just because I like the noise. Mm-hmm. I've been, I've been trying not to play TV shows when I sleep. Uh, very, very to no avail uh because i always fall asleep watching something because it's just it's so easy to like wind down and relax after your day by watching tv and normally when i start to do that i'm already so tired that i just tank and fall asleep yeah i get that turning into an old man you are an old man Oh, there, there's my superpower. Instead of turning into a velociraptor, I turn into an old man. But then, doesn't isn't that t- kind of the same as like everybody? To, wouldn't everybody have that superpower anyway? Then, uh, at, well, at will, man. I would say every uh, uh, I can turn into an old man at will, and then change back. And it's a different looking old man each time. I could be like the world's best like, super it, it spy. Doesn't look, it doesn't look like you, but like significantly older. It looks like a completely different, just old man. And it's a different, it's a different old man every time. So like maybe the first time looks like me, but the second time wouldn't. It looked like somebody else. I could be the world's best super spy. I could be old, old James Bond. Really old James Bond. Like a geriatric James Bond. So just Sean Connery. Is Sean Connery still alive? I I was thinking Robert De Niro, but I mean, that would work. Robert De Niro, yeah. I said Robert De Niro wasn't James Bond, though. No, he wasn't. Uh, Robert De Niro, speaking of him. Speaking of Robert De Niro, did you ever see The Irishman? No, I never did. I I watched part of it before. Uh, excuse me, I watched part of it a while back. I, I didn't get too into it. Um, I felt like it was one of those movies I would have to sit down and like become fully invested in to appreciate. Uh, and at the time, I just didn't have the the attention span to commit it fully to that movie. I was doing something else. So, Sean Connery, yeah, a lot of James Bond. Is he still alive? Indiana Jones. I say, is, is Sean Connery still alive? Um, based on a very valuable source of Wikipedia, it says yes. Okay, fair enough. I figured he would still be alive. I hadn't heard anything about him dying. He is, how old is he? Probably in his 80s, wouldn't he? Let's have a look. See, these are movies, movies, movies. Hey, get up and grab something. He's eighty-nine. He's almost ninety years old. Yeah. Holy crap! Born August twenty-fifth, nineteen thirty. Uh, you said you played uh Pokemon Shield recently. How was that? Or Sword? Sorry. 
I'm looking at Pokemon Shield. I, I I got Sword, and that is a very good time. Um, now that was my first step into anything Pokemon related. I was about to say, explain explain and your love- history with the the Pokemans series, uh, because your opinion differs from lots of people's opinions on the internet. Because uh, lots of people. So it was my very first step into Pokemon, other than what I had seen when I was a very, very young child on TV. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people's introduction to Pokemon was the TV show. And, like, what you said with uh, about Friends was it was something that was on but not retaining. That's kind of what it was for me. I yeah. was watching it because it was on, but I wasn't understanding or paying attention to anything that was actually happening. Kind of, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, lots of people don't like Pokemon Sword and Shield. A lot of people not big fans of that one. Uh, mainly because they removed what's called the the National Dex, the, which is like the Pokedex that carries across all of the regions of Pokemon. So, like... For instance, in the last Pokemon games, you could catch Pokemon from every single region in this new region. You could or you couldn't catch them all, but you could have them all. So for instance, if you had Pokemon from uh the the what's the the first region in Pokemon called? The Kanto region, uh in your your last Pokemon game. You could transfer them over to Sun and Moon and have them in that one. Uh, but with... I thought you could do that. Uh, you can now that Pokemon Home is out. But when Pokemon Home wasn't out, you could only have pre like a list of pre-approved Pokemon. Pokemon, however you want me to say it, in the game. There was only, what, 400 and some in the Pokedex for the Galar region? Um, and if you wanted, like if you wanted a Pokemon that was not among those numbers, you just couldn't. Uh, but now with Pokemon Home, they've added in the ability to transfer. It's still a list of pre-approved ones, but it's a lot bigger. I'm trying to think how many it is. I'm not exactly sure how big it is. Uh, I've been playing lots of Animal Crossing since it came out. Uh, today is uh, March 29th. Uh, the game's been out for nine days, but I just got it yesterday. Uh, and in the past 24 hours, I've put 10 hours into Animal Crossing. Holy cow. Not not 24, excuse me. I got it. I started playing at 3 o'clock yesterday. So 20, 31 hours? 31 hours? 11 o'clock? So in the past 31 hours, I've put 10 hours into Animal Crossing. Uh, it's such a nice so little I game. Don't under- I don't or- understand exactly anything about the Animal Crossing games. I had an Animal Crossing for my DS. That o- It was like an old DS that yep. I found. And- Animal Crossing Wild World was the one for DS. Yeah. And I had that, but I never understood what I was really doing. Because there's not really a main concept or conflict in the game yeah there's no there's no Other real than, main goal you just like take care of a nice little town just, like, and talk to people you, yeah you're just living yeah it, it's a nice time it's a nice relaxing time it's just not really a game that's not really i find suited for me yeah you like more action heavy stuff i get that i like yeah i like action heavy and hard conflict Things like that. Yeah. Um, Jedi Fallen Order. We talked about this quite a lot at work. Uh, for reference, we work together. Um, uh, g- give me some, some afterthoughts on the game now that it's been a few months since you played it. I think you're cutting out again. Am I? Shit. Oh, there you are. I said, uh, give me some afterthoughts on Jedi Fallen Order now that it's been a few months since we've played it. Fallen Order. That is... Uh, so the, the the voice actor, oh gosh, what is his name? He he played Ian Gallagher in a Shameless. Shameless, yeah. And I thought this was a really like good 
thing to put himself in. Yeah. What, uh, Cameron Monaghan, I think is how you pronounce his name. Monahan. Cameron Monahan. Monahan. Monahan, not Monaghan. What was I thinking? Um, and it's like. He's it's as the boy as an actor myself. It bu- it's building really really good, uh, like dynamic in throughout his actual like career. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna use an example from one of his uh, um, actor fr- mates in the same TV show, William H Macy, who plays Frank Gallagher, his really bad dad. The when drunk you look at guy. What this guy has done. Say, William H Macy is a very good actor. I like a lot of his work. Oh yeah, he's made a lot of good films. I say he's been in a lot, a lot of stuff. He's an he's an old school actor. He's he's De Niro's age, isn't he? He's around that age group. He is the age of. Well, I didn't put his age exactly. It says he was born March thirteenth of nineteen fifty. Okay, so, so he's a little make him, He's younger than Janeiro. That'll make then. him uh, 70. What? Uh, 70? Yeah. Uh, hey, Siri. How old is Robert De Niro? Robert De Niro is 76 years old. Robert De Niro is 76. So he's right in that age group, that William H. Macy. Yeah. Hello? You cutting out on me again? Nope. I'm oh. just having. I'm just doing some research. I'm lo- doing a quick look over on what this guy's done. My fa- my almost all time favorite though, uh, part that he has, uh, that he's been in was in uh, Jurassic Park three. He plays Paul Kirby. Mm-hmm. I never saw, uh, the first. Excuse me. After the first Jurassic Park, I didn't see the second one, whatever that one's called, and Jurassic Park three. Uh, never saw Ooh. those two. Saw Jurassic World. Didn't see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So I've got all... Do I think I have all of them. Let me do a quick look at what I have. <laughs> can you still hear me? Yes, I can. So this is a five-movie collection of Jurassic... It says Jurassic World five-movie collection. It, it includes Jurassic Park... The Lost World Jurassic Park, which is number two, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay. Yep. I mean, so, it was a little pricey, but it's you're paying for five movies in, in one mo- movie box, so mm-hmm. I dished out a little bit and I got it. Uh, we're talking about bad movies at the very beginning of this podcast to bring it around in a full circle here. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Welcome to Mooseport? Uh, no, but that just sounds awful. Uh, it's starring Ray Romano and Gene Hackman. Do you know who uh, Gene Hackman is? Do you know who that is? Gene Hackman. I feel like I should. Don't tell uh, me. Okay. Let's see if I notice anything that he is done with himself um you'd recognize him if you knew Have you ever seen the uh, the original superman with christopher reeves the one that came out in the 70s that's that's just actually that's just what came up let's say he plays uh the lex luthor the bad guy uh he's supposed to be bald in that movie but he's got a a curly Seth Rogen perm going on in that movie. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's got like a, a... Okay, he was in Young Frankenstein. Yes. Wait, Young Frankenstein? I thought that was... Was that not Gene Wilder? Young Am I just stupid? I thought... Am I just an idiot? I thought Gene Wilder was in Young Frankenstein. Well, he was too. Oh, they're both in it. Young Frankenstein, A Tale of Two Genes. There we go. Perfect subtitle for that movie. A Tale of Two Genes. Tale of Two Genes. That's what, um... Should I name the the episode of the podcast A Tale of Two Genes or The Cult of Bill Murray? Because I feel like those are the, the, the uh, two I'd best still, phrases I'd still to come. Go with Bill Murray. The, the Cult of Bill Murray? The Cult of Bill Murray. All right. Did you ever see the, uh... 
I know we're talking about movies a lot in this podcast, uh, but did you ever see it had Will Smith in it? It's called Gemini Man. I haven't yet. I haven't been able to see it, but I really, really want to. It's a really interesting concept that they came up with this film. It, it, I don't know. It kind of looks bad, man. Not going to lie to you personally. It, um, I, the concept is kind of foreign and funny to me though. Cause like, it's like modern, I am legend Will Smith versus like nineties flat top fresh Prince Will Smith. Uh, I kind of just want to, yeah. wa- I, I understand that they were both voiced by like, that even like the, the flat top Will Smith was voiced by modern day Will Smith, but I kind of want, wanted them to be, to like reuse voice clips from the fresh Prince. So to like make, just to make it like even more of significantly like how different they are. And like I kind of just wanted them to be like to see like young Will Smith like firing a rifle at old Will Smith like bah, 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 and then just scream you're not my father really loud at him. <laughs> I probably just peeked my microphone I'm going to have to edit that out in post. Fix it in post, as they say. Uh, uh, another Will Smith movie I went to go see. Uh, the one with the where he was turned into a pigeon. And uh, Tom Holland's... Oh, what was that one called? Spies in Disguise. You know, this these past couple years have just been a really, really big year for Will Smith. He's been in a lot of, like... He's been making some money. He has been making some money. Uh, Too bad a lot of the content that he's getting paid to make money for, or getting paid this money for, isn't isn't good quality. Uh, Some of it's pretty good. Spies in Disguise was alright. It was one of those ones, uh, my girlfriend and I went to go see it because we thought it looked bad, and we thought it was going to be like, oh... We didn't think it looked bad. We thought it was just going to be like subpar standard kids movie, like a good like time waster. Yeah. And then like we were walking out and we we're like, "You know what? It was, it was genuinely all right. Like it was a passable movie. It was fine." Um uh, he does reference the the YouTube Rewind 2018. Ah, uh, that's hot. That's hot. He does say that at one point. Uh, to which all of the people in the audience at the theater went, ha, oh, ha, funny YouTube man. <laughs> uh, that is what we all said, I promise. I, I don't really know the reference. Uh, back in YouTube Rewind of 2018, uh, Will Smith, who had just started a channel in 2018 and got ridiculously popular on YouTube, uh, was invited to be the opener for YouTube Rewind, and one of his infamous lines, uh, he looks up into the sky using a telescope, sees the Fortnite battle bus, and then goes, Whoa! Ah, that's hot! That's hot! Uh, and it became a very large internet meme for a while. See, that, that's weird. I've never seen that meme before. Really? Yeah, I never saw it. Dang, dude. Been living under a rock all these years? Probably. I, I I mean, we do live out in, like, the middle of nowhere. So it's understandable to not get the, the, the memes. I don't understand lots of memes nowadays. I've fallen behind the times on my memeage. My meme tootling. I've been, I've been keeping up. I've fallen behind a little bit. Um... Mainly because, I don't know, I just feel like memes aren't as funny anymore, and that's kind of cynical to say, but I haven't I haven't encountered a really good meme for the past few months. I've encountered some, like, put it this way, I haven't, I've encountered some good single memes, but I haven't encountered any good, like, meme formats, new ones. Yeah. Yeah. But, like... What what meme for, formats could you uh, like that aren't that you can think of aren't already there? What do you mean? 
I'm just saying that I haven't found I haven't seen any like meme formats that I'm like really really into lately. I'm not saying I could come up with a better one. Okay. I'm just I'm just saying that like it, like I said, not that they're not funny anymore. I just uh, put it this way: I'm not a high schooler anymore. Things get old kind of fast. I'm a cynical asshole now. Oh yeah. You oh, know yeah. I'm I'm an asshole and I'm proud. You know, things like just don't appeal to us anymore like they used to. Back in my day, uh, what's what's something that we can legitimately say back in my day to our grandkids uh, when we grew when we grow old and wither? Um, having a cell phone before the age of like ten. I, I'm I, sure you didn't have your first cell phone until you were like. I was of the teenage. I was about to say, I was 16 when I got my first cell phone. I was 14? When I got my first cellular phone, I was 16 years old. Uh, And my first cell phone was also not a smartphone. Uh, I had an iPad fun... Or I had an iPod fun fact before I actually got a cell phone. Um, I had an old... I did too. I had a flip phone for a long time. And I, I feel like... I gotta stop fidgeting with stuff. Um, I feel like having an iPod could kind of count as having a cell phone. Because, I mean, they're basically the same thing, except for they don't make calls. You know? Yeah. So, when did I get my first iPod? I think I was... I was 12 or 13 when I got my first iPod. I think I was the same age. Yeah. Um... Man, I hope I hope coming up with topics rapid fire comes easier as we grow and become wiser at this. Uh, and I, I I do also hope that the the shooting back and forth of the the insults and the jokes gets snappier as we get more comfortable on microphone. Because uh, we've had a couple good exchanges, I feel like the cult of Bill Murray is definitely going to be a classic moment for the the no title required podcast. Uh, eventually. Yeah, like, if they, if someone, if we get famous, that'll be the things they think of, like, you know, how comedians have their famous punchline jokes, like, you know, Fluffy has his racist chocolate gift cake. basket story that everybody knows, mm-hmm. and his chocolate cake, and... Man. Comedians. I like comedians. Uh, but I feel like... Comedians are... Sorry, I feel like I, I've fallen more into the underground comedy scene lately. Not underground, but like the, the small small time comedy scene. What do you mean by that? Um, I'm getting more into comedians that don't have huge followings. Like I'm finding more independent guys that just do it for fun. And I'm having a good time with like, that. Like... Like short clips of like open mic nights. Yeah, stuff like that. Or like people that do short shows in like the Laugh Factory in LA and the Laugh Factory puts it on their channel or something. Yeah, those those are, I, I follow Laugh Factory on Facebook and I see a lot of good videos that they do. Uh, did you hear of anything about uh, Tim Allen's set at the Laugh Factory back in like spring of last year around this time last year no uh tim allen did a set at the laugh factory last year around this time uh and he said the n-word apparently he apparently said the n-word oh, that's a, oh i do remember that <laughs> uh he was also comparing california to communist china uh, solid yeah uh, speaking of comedians who said the N-word, uh, Kramer from Seinfeld. Have you, have you heard that's uh, yeah, very I've heard, famous? I've heard him, his, like, his whole, he had, like, his whole rant. thing that all about like racism and things like that. And mm-hmm. he got really on the wrong side of it. He really did. Kramer, Kramer put forth some opinions that I don't necessarily agree with. And that's why I think we should all get together and hang him. Uh, Whoa. Again, again, joking. Um, I feel like that will become more 
naturally to uh, the the idea that I shouldn't have to explain when I'm joking that I that I'm joking when I say stuff like that. Uh, as our as our our fan ba- potential fan base uh, gets more used to just like the way we act on microphone and the way we talk. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the last real good video game you played? Well, the last real good video game that I played. Yeah, I know we just talked about uh, Pokemon a minute ago, so I'm assuming that. Um, last video game that I played that was really good was uh, um, it, I was like I was playing PS2 not too long ago, and I was playing. Uh, this bounty hunter game, this Star Wars bounty hunter game. Oh man, of it, of it, of its time, it was high quality. As I say, compared to now, it's really low quality. But like you know, you got to think of the time when it was made. It was made in like two thousand three or four. I'm assuming, right around then, Star Wars was massively popular. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront One came out in two thousand. Four? Four? Don't quote me. I think four. So, I mean, yeah. Around that time, Star Wars was getting real, real big. 2002 is when it was released. 2002? 2002. I feel old as fuck, dude. (laughs) Might have said that a little too loud. Might wake somebody up downstairs. Uh, I live with my parents, by the way. Um, but yeah, I feel old now. Jesus. Oh, oh, I got a text from somebody who's who who who's contacting me at eleven thirty at who's night. Who's getting a hold of you? It's my girlfriend. God. Oh, girlfriend. Uh, Rose. Dang. Just uh, texting me to say that you love me and that you're going to bed. How how inconsiderate of you, okay? Listen, I don't need to know By these the kinds way, of things. Uh, for our followers, uh, I am, I, Tyler, am also single, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there now because it's probably not going to stay that way for I don't know how long. Uh, ni- nice, n- nice self-plug there, bud. <laughs> He's just like, hey, uh, uh, my name's I- Tyler. I'm single. And I like big fucking dicks. <laughs> so that's all you gotta say. You'll, you'll get all the creeps to your door. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Tyler, I bet if you had a milkshake, it would bring all the boys to the yard. Hey, I bet I can make a qu- um, quality bomb milkshakes. Nice. You just gotta get the proportions right. You just gotta get the proportions right? Yeah. My cat is laying very, very peacefully and cutely on the couch right now. I just have to to look back and ponder at her for a minute. Appreciate it. Nice. Anyway. Uh, how do you, how do you feel about this whole quarantine business that's going on? I know we said we weren't gonna talk about it, but let's... Let's just give our feelings on being cooped up in the house. I am personally not a fan. Not a fan either, personally. I I haven't left my house to do something beside. Oh, can't say that anymore. Never mind. Uh, before yesterday, uh, I haven't left my house to do anything but go to work for about two weeks. I was getting pretty bored, to say the least. Because, like, you know, there's only so much you can do in your house, and sometimes you just got to do something a little different. Like, dude, my my hour-long jack-off sashes, they're getting pretty boring now, not going to lie. I, I'm getting to the point where I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm coming and dust is coming out. Like, I need to slow down. They, they need to let me out of my house. I'm not going to say that I was joking like, on after, that one. Like, after, like, the fifth time, you're like, okay, I'm going to do it again, but... 
it's, it's starting to hurt a little bit. Like it's starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh, uh, a little bit ago, I was watching the TV with with my madre and my padre, and I saw a commercial for. Uh, keep in mind, we haven't had TV for about a week. Now, I saw a commercial for a new kids channel. I don't remember what it was. I don't. It might have been. It might have been on Curiosity Stream that like learning education service. Uh, but they were advertising one of their shows, and it was a uh, business skills with Warren Buffett, and it was a kids show. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know what? I'm gonna be one of those parents one day. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be one of those parents that's just like no. No, no, no! I don't watch my let my kids watch Sesame Street. I only let my kids watch uh, Business Skills with Warren Buffett. Be be real snooty about it. I uh, only let my kids eat uh, like gluten free whatever. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a Karen when I grow up. Uh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Uh. You, yeah, I hear your audio coming through pretty loud there. I heard you clicking. What, what is this? What is what? Oh, hey, you're back. Hello. I was, I got a thing from Hello. Discord. It, it said it was checking something. Oh. We I got back. a noise on mine, but it didn't say nothing said to me. Mm. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm going to be one of those... Those moms, th those moms. I'm a guy. I'm gonna be one of those dads. It's like no, 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 no. I don't let my kids watch Sesame Street. I only let my kids watch like some really weird, like artsy French kids show. And like my kids are gonna grow up and do grow up, and just be like so completely and totally burnt out on how strict I am that they turn to drugs. Uh, please don't quote me. Because that's not how I want to raise my children. Uh, just making a funny, the funny ha ha joke about it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You know, it's funnier than 24. Can you hear me? What did you say? I said, you know what's funnier than 24? <laughs> what? A double <laughs> homicide. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> I might actually have to bleep that out. That's bad. I probably shouldn't have said that. I think I'm gonna have to censor that one out. Excuse me as I, I take a sip of my coffee after saying the thing that's getting me sent to hell. Get up to the pearly gates one day, and God and uh, Saint Peter, not God, is sitting there, and he's like, "Well, you did make that one joke about the double <laughs> homicide when you were twenty. I can't let you in. Sorry. Like that's the one thing that's gonna keep me out of heaven." <laughs> On the list of things that I've done, that's one thing. That's the, that's it. That that's the one thing. Like, 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 what if, what if? Heaven was so strict like that. It's like, oh, you cured cancer, but you did make that one joke when you were 20. Sorry, can't let you in, bud. You saved thousands of people's lives. Millions of people's you lives. Cured. You cured cancer. You cured what is not currently, because COVID-19 would probably be considered the worst disease on Earth right now as far as spreadability goes. Uh, but just in general, probably the most hated and feared uh, condition on earth uh, cancer and you cured it it's completely gone forever but you can't get into heaven because you made that one joke about <laughs> homicide <laughs> like you saved millions of people's lives you made people happy every single day you 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 gave babies their grandmas you you gave mothers and daughters, or mothers and fathers, their sons and daughters, and vice versa, back. But nope, no heaven for you. All because you thought something was funny. I I personally think that comedy... I, th I personally think that anything can be funny. 
Uh, but I do also have a, a belief that also all things that people find funny don't hold up in our legal system. Yes, I was about to say jokes never go well in court. Uh, but I do have to say, I anything negative can be funny. I just in anything in general. But I feel like comedy is derived from people having a bad time. Like like misery is what makes comedy. Can you, can you like think of anything that you would find funny that doesn't have that like doesn't have isn't at someone's expense negatively from someone else? Yeah. Um. Like that, I, that's probably the basis of all comedy. Um. No, not really. But I can think of some pretty, some pretty dark and bad stuff that I personally find funny. Uh, that I don't think I'm ready to share with the world yet. So I'm, I'm gonna have go ahead and say that this study is over. And say that yeah, mo. <laughs> Most, if not all, comedy is derived from uh, pain and misery. Yeah. Uh, I, let me just be here to say, I am, I, I do like to give off the chill vibes. Like, I don't actually dislike many things. I don't think I actually hate. You know what? There are a couple of things I actually do hate, uh, which I will not get into right now. But you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm I'm here to spread the chill vibes. I, I, I don't mean to offend anybody by what I'm saying. Uh, I'm kind of just being edgy to be edgy. Uh, but I'm also saying things that I think are funny and possibly add context to the conversation. Uh, just stop me if I ever go too far. Oh, I will. You don't have to worry about that. Yes. It is getting pretty late. It is getting pretty late. It's eleven thirty where we're at. You ready? You feeling ready to wrap the podcast up? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, this has been the uh, first episode of No Title Required. Thank you guys for, as I say, watching, listening. I uh, mean, this is the hopefully. Hopefully this becomes a weekly thing. Um, we'll have to gauge. We're shoot, but we can do a weekly thing. Yeah, I'd like to do a weekly, just a weekly sit down and and BS with my good buddy Tyler here. Uh, maybe have some ironic gay sex. Don't know yet. The purely yeah, ironic, of happens, course. Happens, purely ironic, of course. Oh, the irony. All, all purely ironic. We can't have real gay sex, or else you know, yeah, you, know, you, you know, you. I don't want to get the gay. Like, listen, I'll, I'll fuck you, but you gotta say no homo. That's what I'm trying to put out. Uh, you just, just for, for final reference, you cannot, you cannot catch the gay, as I just stated, and I, I do know that. I just wanted to joke about it. You know, I'm just realizing that I'm now saying these things and they're going, they're going to be going online. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, let's hope that nobody related to me ever finds this. <laughs> oof, oof da. Oof da, oof da. It'd be, it'd be super funny if... Your like my, like my kids mom or grandkids are gonna be finding this. <laughs> my mom finds this like my mom. My mom is now like eighty years old. I'm I'm a healthy I'm a healthy fifty year old man with kids and maybe a grandkid or two. And my mom finds this old video, internet video from two thousand and twenty, and she's like, "Oh, my son made this almost. Uh, what what year would it be?" If I'm fifty, twenty. My son made this thirty years ago. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be good. And she at the hears me make hears me talk about making a cult out of Bill Murray uh, and having ironic gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, like I said before, thank you guys for watching or listening. Uh, it's been a good time. Uh, we're signing off. All right, talk to you guys later.
Yeah, this is Tyler saying that. And to those listening, I salute you. Salute you. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.